all are part of june first peak batches correct gs sadhana batch part of sadhana back साइंस और ऑप्शनल ओके सो वी टेक एम बी ए so over the expansion of mbas masters of business administration that is the only term we have came across, uh, came across in our life what is administration as correct so before going to this term public administration we we'll understand what the term means administration as okay so to understand this term administration we doesn't want to see anything technical here we just take our college days so How many of you finished off your colleges, or all of you finished off, right? So, can you say what is one important event in your college life? It doesn't mean that it should be within the college, even outside of the college. One important thing in college life is, which you think is the most important that strikes the mind. Mostly, it will not be studies, right? So, we never bother about studies in colleges, correct? What may be one important? Uh, Uh, event in college life is, or one important day in your college life. You have personal ones, okay? Personal, lot of stories are there for you. I am saying, I uh, in this was I uh, entire college dimensions. Results day is one, okay? Apart from result day, any other thing? So, cultural day, correct? All of you love college cultures day, right? Apart from Cultures Day, there is also another day called what we called as uh, field visits or tours. All these things are there, correct? So when you say Cultural Day, what are the things you do in that day? Prior to that day, what are the things you'll do? Assume that college gave the permission for cultural event. What are the things you'll do for that? What are the things you do? Basic one. Organizing things. In organizing, what are the things you'll do? What are the things you do? first and foremost thing so when you say cultural day first and foremost thing is the very basic question you ask is how many days right how many days they are giving permission for us right so once they say that it's, you can take two or three days then what the next thing we do is the next thing we do is next thing is we have what we called as as you said event list what are events being conducted correct then what are the next thing is cultural fest or cultural day is not only for you correct what are the things you try to do is what are or why that day is more memorable in our life because that day also includes food correct we also need to think of what is the food and menu for all those things correct is that we are any chances of calling other colleges so calling or uh, 
for example, what we call it as inter college meet, correct? Sometimes this day is going to transform transform life of some of the people, correct? How it goes to transform the life of some of the people is they'll see their life partner, everyone in that day, correct? Okay, if they're lucky enough, okay. <laughs> if they're smart enough, not only lucky enough, they're smart enough. Okay. So when you take all these things, these are things that strikes the mind. But behind this, a lot of activities happens. What is a lot of activities happens means starting with what we called as planning. So there should be a proper planning for two or three days, what need to be done, correct? And next thing is we need to have better coordination. What is coordination is? It exists between management, college management and students also exist between multiple departments, correct? And sometimes management hates cultural meat. Can you see why? They'll be very hesitant to give the permission. Most of the time they'll say that, okay, this year we doesn't want it. I don't know what is the current college cultures, college life is. Mostly in uh, 10, 20 years before, 10, 15 years before and all, most of the time college will be very hesitant to give permission for cultural events. Can you say why? Security. Security for women will not be a big problem. So they'll they'll not there will not be any problem for girls or staffs and all. That's not a big issue. Discipline of the student is one. What can this cultural event can transform into? Negative transformation. It's nothing but ultimately that can result in fight between students to be precisely fight between. It's not only between students. Precisely fight between boys is there. Rightly, by, by, by fight between departments. Can you understand the point? Most of the time, what students always say is, when there's a problem between two departments, what they always say is, wait for cultural day. We'll see there. Right? So that should be a coordination between different departments. And especially from engineering background means uh, which two departments will never go along with each other in EAD. Which two departments in engineering colleges will never go with each other. Is, all will be always against each other. Mechanical will be always a troublemaker. And which is the department always they go and fight us? CSE or IT, correct? Can you understand the point? In arts, I'm not very aware which, which two departments will fight. For example, coordination between departments, coordination between management and also students. The next thing is, apart from planning, coordination, and also there comes the budget, correct? What college will always say is, for this event, we'll give it. So there are this much money for remaining what you want to do is or the remaining what you want to do is we will not give money for all these things but the next thing they will ask you to do is go and find the sponsors correct as a student you do go and find sponsors you speak with your friends family members and all those things to get money for the event correct then apart from this planning coordination budget what other thing is as said you also want to make some security measures correct So when you say security measures, as you say that it is an inter-college meet, correct? People from other colleges also comes there. Sometimes that can also result in some trouble, correct? So the one condition for cultural meet is always the management says. This is the one condition. What that condition is? You can conduct the event, everything is okay, but what is the one condition is? One condition, make sure that everyone is steady. What is, what is the make sure that everyone is steady means? <laughs> so... Don't come here as a two person or three person, you'll not allow it, correct? So all this is a part of it. When you take as a college life, we have these experiences. If you want to put in administrative terms, we call these aspects, planning, coordination, budgeting, security is one such event. If this same work is done by the government, this we call it as public administration. Can you understand the point? Is that government want to plan the things or not? Is that government want to spend the money or not, correct? So for last uh, one month of newspaper reading or four months of newspaper reading, can anyone say where are government's major priorities? What area government is trying to focus a lot in area? According to your understanding, based on paper reading, this is the area where government is uh, focusing a lot. Defense is one, correct? Government want, always want to strengthen the defense, correct? Any other thing apart from this? 
external affairs government want to strengthen its external what is external affairs means its relation with other countries correct so good example is after our prime minister's wearing in ceremony what is the important event he attended is g7 correct and you are also able to remember this melody correct what is this melody is between italian prime minister and indian prime minister so these are all wild imaginations correct in reality can anyone say why indian prime minister is being respected across the world can anyone have an idea why indian prime minister is respected across the world why all leaders respect our indian prime minister to the core any idea leader of the global south okay i am asking personally why everyone likes a prime minister leave out the position assume that you are mr narendra modi why every leader likes you personally simple to say that our current prime minister is like virat kohli why is so popular among global leaders can anyone have an idea social media everyone manages social media that's not a big issue there one is consecutive terms he is the prime minister for the third term correct and what type of system is indian system is is it a communist country or democracy democratic country democratic country becoming a prime minister for three terms no one can do it can you understand the point then what is the biggest reason why they love him a lot that is what italian prime minister is trying to do correct right? no prime minister can achieve that what is the other thing is not only bold decisions in the last two times as a prime minister he got this term called thumping majority what is thumping majority means if you want to form a government in indian system what is the requirement any idea in lok sabha you need to have the majority for the last two times you know that bjp as a party got the thumping majority what is thumping majority means 270 plus seats correct in a democracy where india is considered to be a diverse country one person emerging with such numbers is considered to be impossible to go and check other democracies which are considered to be homogeneous what is homogeneous means they speak same languages they have same religion and also they are same race same culture everything is there but they they are not able to form the government that is the reason why indian prime minister is being highly respected can you get the point and we after uh, swearing in ceremony our, our prime minister went to g7 and is that you know right now indian government's priority area of planning is anyone knows this term called demographic dividend what is the idea called demographic take out your phone and check what is demographic dividend is okay guys check what is this term called demographic dividend right now only country in the world which has the greatest advantage of this demographic dividend that is india ambi the laptop in your chair yeah one country with such a potential of demographic dividend what is demographic dividend is what's the what's the term called demographic dividend when you divide the population of the society based on age so what we call it as demographic dividend is when the working age population what is the working age population as per the data that is percentage out of 100 people in india 62 are considered to be working age population what is that working age population age bracket is 15 to 65 and any country having this population higher numbers they are considered to be super power can you say why why they are considered to be super power huh? because these are the working age population where they can contribute to the economy a lot and that is the reason why lot of countries give respect for indian words simple thing is if india want to punish any country what the only thing india want to do is it doesn't need to wage a war what the only thing it want to do is allowing all the indians to come back that will hurt india a lot correct right? 
Indians are coming back means we are not going to earn the money. Check this. Check what this called Galwan crisis. I'll give an example to understand how India is leveraging this demographic dividend. Check what this called Galwan crisis. So what is this Galwan crisis? What is this Galwan crisis? Anyone gone through it? It's an issue between yeah, yeah. India and Chinese soldiers. Actually, it's a military conflict, right? And how India responded is not only based on this military dimensions. After that, check the other news article. India, Chinese app ban. India and Chinese app ban. How many Chinese apps are banned by India after this? So how many uh, Chinese apps were being banned? Very popular is, you know, TikTok, correct? How many Chinese apps were banned by Indian government? 400 apps, huh? 230 apps are being banned by Indian government. How India is punishing China is not by waging a war. They are hitting them economically because India is the huge market, correct? Because what is the population of India? Anyone say what is the rank of Indian population? Is? Rank number one, two or three? Rank number one, correct? And also in rank number one, what is the majority of population? Is working age population. Can you understand the point? So Indian government is trying to leverage that by properly planning to utilize this demographic dividend. All the government schemes, all the government programs are primarily focused on this idea. What we call as demographic Dividend, correct? And also anyone came across this term called Skill India. Skill India is focusing on demographic dividend, correct? Where we can see that under this planning and budgeting is nothing but government will allocate money for their key areas, correct? Simple aspect is apart from demographic dividend, government is also spending a lot of money on infrastructure projects. What are the important infrastructure projects in India? Anyone knows any idea infrastructure projects? When you say physical infrastructure means, what is the one area government giving greater priority? So is that, you know, physical infrastructure means road network, rail networks, correct? Check this term called Gati Shakti. Gati Shakti. G-A-T-I Shakti. Where government spend a lot of money on these areas. So, Gati Shakti is focusing on multimodal infrastructure. What is multimodal is not only focusing on road network, rail network, even waterways. All these are being developed. And then 20 years down the line, your experience of Indian transportation will be very different. Right now, if you want to travel, what the first thing always strikes your mind is what mode of transportation you always think of as. Right now, if you want to travel any place, either it will be a road network or next level is train network. Another 30 years down the line, there's not going to be road and train. It'd be an air travel or waterways. You can understand the point. Government is working on these areas where cost of transportation will be very less. Can you get the point? So there's a basic understanding. Public administration means when government works for the well-being of the people. What is well-being of the people in what sense? What do you understand by the term well-being? Is government taking care of us? Yes or no? Individually, if we ask, you will say no. We feel that government is not taking care of us. But in reality, government takes care of us. Can you give one or two examples how, how government take care of us? Providing infrastructure is one, okay. Then as a basic person, where you feel that government is giving all these things to us? Providing security. Simple question is, you know this term called law and order. Are you feeling safe in India? Leave out extreme events. Extreme events happens everywhere. Generally, are we safe in India? The answer is yes, correct? Is that police response for us? Time of response, leave out. Okay. So is that police responding to us or not? Yes, correct. All these are taken care by the government. Can you understand the point? So government plays a very important role in our life. Can you get the point? 
Is that government taking care of education or no? Simple, they funnily say that right now in India, people spend a lot of money on school education to get into government colleges. What are the government colleges they're referring here is? IIT, IIM, AIMS, all are run by government or not? Is that the higher education is highly subsidized or not? Subsidized means right now when you want to study the degree what IIT provide, IIM provide, when you go for foreign universities, the cost is very, very high. Can you understand the point? So government plays a lot of roles in this. And this is a basic idea. Any clarification in this term, public administration until now? You're able to have a hold of it, correct? Online candidates, any doubts? If you go for UPSC perspective, so we have paper one and paper two. All options have paper one and paper two. If possible, just take out the syllabus in your own line, paper one and paper two. Just put public administration UPSC syllabus. Paper one and paper two will be there. And if you go and check, paper one consists of 12 units. Paper four consists of 14 units. And if you want to simply put in one word, what is paper one and paper two? Paper one is primarily focused on theory. What is public administration is the theory, that is paper one. And paper two is primarily focused on applied areas. So applied areas is nothing but paper two is primarily focused on Indian administration. What are the theory you study in paper one? We relate with that Indian administration. Can you understand the point? And if you take this paper one syllabuses, and there are some titles given, correct? So what are the first title given is introduction, correct? Is that you got the Production, administrative thought, administrative behavior, organizations, accountability and control, administrative law, comparative public administration, development dynamics, personal administration, public policy, techniques of administrative improvement, financial administration. For all this unit title, I'll just give one one ideas to understand it. Okay. If you take this paper one, first unit, what we call it as introduction. Paper one. Unit one, what we call it as introduction. It clearly says the evolution of public administration, how public administration concept started, and right now where we are. Can you get the point? We say public administration, where it all started is. Is it in ancient India or not? Or ancient world, we have public administration or not? Yes, that time it was not democracy, it was monarchy, correct? Simply you are saying is you know this MG Narega. Right now, for the current government in India, well, there is a scheme called MG Narega. What is the reason of creating this MG Narega? Any idea? MG Narega, or popularly they call it as 100 days work. But the primary intention of this is government want to provide employment opportunity, correct? Can you even say in ancient world how they are provided employment? Right now, we are going for MG Narega. But if you go for ancient world, how they provide employment is? Not only give them land, correct? Right now, what we call it as wonders of the world. In ancient world, what are those wonders? Right now, we are saying as seven wonders of the world. Ancient and medieval time. For example, if you take Taj Mahal, or in Egypt, what is popularly called it as? Pisa is correct. And also we have this mummies, correct? All these are public works. Can you understand the point? That time, what King will do is, create this public works, pay the money for the people. Right now, what we do is MG Narega. Can you understand the point? So in ancient time also, government was involved. There. From there, right now, until now, what is the aspect of public administration? Right now, public administration in modern era is very difficult. Simple thing to say that is government providing everything to us or is there any private place involved in it? Is a private place involved in our uh, public service or not? Good example is if you travel right by a car in National Highway, is that you pay this toll gate fees. Who's collecting the toll gate fees? A private player, correct? 
But 30, 40 years no, before that, there is no concept of this private involving in public services. That is the idea of introduction. And next, the second unit is what we call it as thinkers. So who are these thinkers is, um, if you take Mahatma Gandhi, what are the one word strikes about Mahatma Gandhi in, uh, in our life is Ahimsa, correct? He gave an idea called Ahimsa. Similarly, for public administration, there are thinkers who gave an idea for public administration. And they are generally classified into three categories. One is classical era, human relations, and behavioral. What is this? We'll see in the classes. What is classical era, human relation, behavior, and all. Very basic way of understanding is, is modern India started for you? Modern India. Yes, correct. We take a freedom struggle. We classify freedom fighters into three categories. One is moderates, extremists, and revolutionary terrorists. But what are the key objective of all the three players? Is? What are the objective of all the three? Anyone can be a moderate, can be extremist, or can be a revolutionary terrorist. What is the objective of all the three is? To get the freedom. Similarly, all these thinkers' primary objective is to improve the organizational efficiency. When 10 people are working, how to make them very work efficiently work, that is their objective. But they give ideas in different ways. Okay, that's the unit three, unit two. And unit three is related with the concept called administrative behavior. What does administrative behavior means? So if you take this term behavior, in our personal life, we use with the friends bad behavior, correct? What do you understand by the term behavior means? What do you understand by the term behavior? Most of the time we use, uh, we use with the friends, it's a bad behavior. What is uh, behavior means? How we respond is called behavior, correct? If you take our government servants in India, is that they're behaving properly according to you? Is that they're behaving like a government servant? What do you think of it? Is it possible in our Indian government systems? How many of you went to government offices? How many of you happy with government offices? Feeling that, okay, government office is good. How many of you happy? Most of Indians will not be happy, correct? But basic way of saying this is, how many of you went to government hospitals? That, that you can really understand, government hospitals. And you made a promise that even after death, I should not come here. You understand the point? Reason why we hate government departments and especially government hospitals and compared with private, why we hate government hospitals like that? No proper response, correct? We are not happy, correct? Especially when you go for hospital with emergency, how they respond, you can clearly understand. How they treat you? Is they treat you with respect? Literally no, correct? That if you go for government hospital, that too on corona time, they have used all the known words. You understand the point? So where we can see that administrative behavior, how an employee behaves. There are multiple factors influencing that. That is given in that unit. And next thing is organization. Organization is nothing but how we divide our government. Can anyone say how many ministries are there in our union government? Any idea? Check how many ministries are there. So take out your phone and check how many ministries are there in our union government. How many ministries are there in our union government is approximately? It's not that you want to know everything. Just check the fact. How many ministries are there in our union government is? 50, 54, 58 ministries are there, correct? Can anyone identify what are the important ministries of the government? To your understanding, what are the important ministries of the government? If you are running a government, these are the ministries very much important for Indian government. Finance is one there, foreign affairs is there, home affairs is there, correct? It's nothing but organization. How government work is being divided. Can you understand the point? Okay. The next thing is accountability and control. What is accountability and control is? Uh, very basic way of saying accountability and control is... Uh, Right now, is that you are answerable or not? 
right now you are answerable in your life or not who will ask the question with you parents correct even before parents even before parents to whom you are answerable parents will ask the question what are you doing even before parents to whom you are answerable if you know that your life will be very good you should be answerable to yourself can i send the point and next comes the parents then who's the other one ask the questioners oru naal peru some four person in life correct when you'll come across this four persons you doesn't know whom they are they'll come and ask you the question enna panit iruka correct what you are doing you finished off your graduation correct what's your plan all this the last correct because in indian system there is some set patterns what is set patterns is by a certain age you want to do certain things correct by 21 what do you want to do finish off your graduation get a job correct by 25 settle means what by 25 what do you want to do is buy a house have a car by 27 get married by 29 have your first kid after that next 40 years no one bothers you until 29 wherever you go you are being questioned correct go for a marriage they ask you to sit and ask all these questions right what you are doing and the worst part is for the worst part is what the worst part is huh? not advice advice will be every every time there will be an advice right from this until you get married there will be always an advice what the worst part is when your peers are doing the same thing what are the peers means when your friend or your cousin who got out of graduation at the same time have done all these things at the same at uh, the same age level if you missed out or the next thing they'll say is see him right okay? your age what you are doing can i send the point so so that that comes the idea of accountability similarly for government where government is answerable to whom they are answerable if you are the prime minister who can ask you the question what you are doing there are multiple institutions but who can ask you the question starting with parliament starting with judiciary they can question that comes under the concept of accountability and control okay perhaps unit 6 primarily focus on the concept of administrative law it's a technical one we'll see that in the class what is administrative laws simple way of saying is right now we know this criminal law and civil law like that there's a concept called administrative law how to run the government that is certain law ideas okay whereas unit 7 is primarily focused on the concept of comparative public administration what is comparative public administration is right now can you say with which country we are compared a lot that's one country we are always being compared see that country that is happening there china correct similarly you can also compare administration of various countries correct to so understand what is comparing administration of various countries is simple layman example correct take a indian movies when the police comes in indian movies when the police comes in climax all this happens police comes that's a reality also correct when you take hollywood movies when the police comes simple thing when you go and check hollywood movies when there's a gunshot what are the next thing you'll hear is siren correct what it clearly indicates is police is arriving there but if you take indian movies when everything is get over police comes there comes the comparative studies can you understand the point how us is able to do that they say that in us response time is within 5 minutes can you understand the point especially for police wherever you are in us when you make a, when you make a call to the police within 5 minutes they reach there by any means can you understand the point so that comes the aspect of comparative studies we'll study how us is doing it how india is doing it Okay, theoretical part. And whereas unit eight, so unit eight focus on the concept of development dynamics or development administration. One of the priority area of the government is to develop the society. Developing society in what sense is not only economic development; they also focus on social development. What is the idea called social development? Is any idea about this term called social development? education health correct they ask your grandparents generation what their experience of education and health in our current generation the experience is very different 
you understand the point simple way of saying this is right now with you how many siblings are there how many brothers and sisters do you have maximum one you ask your grandparents how many siblings they got 19 can you say the reason why why they have 19 siblings so don't think weirdly okay <laughs> point is <laughs> so if you ask any grandparents why you have so many brothers and sisters what is one reason they always say is because in our time no one knows not only take care of that no one knows how many children will survive if you ask them they'll say that actually we have 10 10 brothers and sisters by the age of 5 and 6 two of them died can i send the point right now what happens is even one child is born in india that is being safeguarded and protected health system improved or not Health system is highly improved in India comparatively. Can you understand? That all comes under the concept of social development. Can you understand the point? Government works on these areas. That comes under development dynamics. And unit so unit nine speaks about personal administration. What is personal administration? Is if you want to put in simple terms, if you are going for a corporate job, if you want to recruit someone. what is the one character you want to check in that individual assume that you are running a business you want to recruit someone what is the one character you want to look into them and you uh, you think they are the best employees we can recruit them what is the one character honesty apart from honesty even honesty is second one what is one thing one thing you want to check with an individual whether they are capable for the job or not in business world simple thing is can he make the money can i send the point but if you are in government job what is the one thing they want to check here is any idea it's not about making money the most important character in public service is how ethical you are what is ethical means how you understand the people's problem it's all theory okay reality is very different what the theory says is if you are a government servant how well you take care of the people's problem it's not about making money that comes under the idea of personal administration can you understand the point okay and unit 10 so unit 10 focuses on the concept of public policy right now governments are driven based on policies not based on leadership what is policies and leadership in the aspect is right now if you take india pakistan relationship is it good or bad india pakistan relationship is good or bad bad correct can i even say in near future is there any possibility for indian government to wage a war can i say why why india will not wage a war with its neighbor especially with pakistan why right now we know that current government doesn't like pakistan politically we know that but why that possibility will not be there even if you are the prime minister of india right now if we go and say that can we wage a war with pakistan most of the people around you will say no can you say why huh huh solve the dispute to peaceful manner okay that is not any other reason because they say that war is a costly affair and for the current situation of india what government need to do is spend the money for development not for war can you understand the point that's the policy of the government that all comes under the idea of called public policy the next thing is techniques of administrative improvement what is this techniques is best way of understanding this right now we use lot of technology based public services correct technology is nothing but use of smartphones and all correct is government service given through smartphones or not what is the biggest advantage in that good example is i think during corona time we have this covid app what is the biggest advantage for us because of this covid app easy access any other thing covid now we went for vaccination what is the biggest advantage for us time is being saved okay any other advantages can you choose your venue for vaccination correct can you choose your brand of vaccines can you choose your time of vaccines it's all being done correct it's all your choice 
by use of technologies and all government try to improve the administrative efficiency correct as a civil servant when you have covid up what a biggest advantage for you assume that you are in charge for vaccines what a biggest advantage of covid up is can you plan the process very effectively can you know in which hospital which brand at what time it's being vaccinated wastage of vaccines are reduced a lot yes and please understand this is one important technology where indian government effectively used check this news article coven app and africa coven app and africa for online candidates is it audible or not yeah so coven app app and africa after the success of this app we gave this particular algorithm and technology to african countries because they doesn't have the ability to create it can understand the point is that you got a news article like that yeah or you can put coven app and un we gave the technology to un and un gave it to africa and other and finally the last unit is financial administration what is financial administration if you are running a government finance is another most important area where you want to give greater focus correct is that economic class has started for you economy huh? core economics is over correct is that you came across this term called fiscal deficit not started huh? started okay check what is this term called fiscal deficit is just general economics term what is fiscal deficit is fiscal deficit is one important economic indicator of any government what is this term called fiscal deficit is fiscal deficit means when government's expenditure is more when compared with revenue that's called fiscal deficit is this number should be high or low logical one low that really shows that government is highly capable can you understand the point check what is fiscal deficit of indian government what is fiscal deficit of indian government they give it percentage of gdp that's also an economic term 5.8 percentage of gdp correct those though is 5.8 percentage seems to be less for government 5.8 percentage across the world is very very high numbers that is the reason why india is in that fiscal deficit correct and to control that what are the budgetary process what are the mechanisms all this we study in the financial administration just quickly go through this any any doubts in paper on go go through it it's all theoretical ideas any clarifications or doubts online candidates any clarifications or doubts can you go to a paper to take out the syllabus of paper to and if you check this paper to syllabus topics there are 14 units just check the titles of that 14 units is first one is evolution of indian administration philosophy and constitutional framework public sector undertakings union government plans and priorities state government district administration civil services financial management administrative reforms rural development urban local government law and order and significant issues and if you take all this 14 units one of the biggest advantage of this option is this 14 units have greater overlapping with gs papers i'll give an example how it overlap with gs papers is for example if we take plans and priorities it is part of economics paper similarly psu is part of economics paper state government union government rural development urban local development all are part of polity classes similarly philosophy and constitutional framework law and order where it comes is in gs as a term called idea call internal security that comes under law and order and significant issues 
and uh, for example uh, significant issues which comes under the concept administrative reforms all comes under the concept of governance but you can ask the question what are the difference between gs and public administration paper to what are the differences the way you write your answers simple question is simple point is if you take public administration paper to question paper give it to any friends who are prepared for civil services not with that option they can write an answer because it's look like a gs paper only difference is how you convert that into a public administration answer how that is being done is integrating with paper one can you understand what i'm saying is paper one we say it's theory correct how you relate the theory with paper two that makes the public administration answer or if you write simply it becomes a gs answer that's the difference between paper two and paper one can you get the point so comparatively that is one advantage and every option has this overlapping aspect whereas here paper two majority overlap with gs papers unique topics in this is first one is evolution that is part of our public administration when you say evolution means it starts with ancient administration medieval administration and british era that is given in unit 1 uh, next one is next unique topic in this is uh, we can go for the civil service eighth unit civil service civil service one such area where it's very unique and also financial management and civil service and financial management we can relate with personal administration and financial administration in paper one we see from indian perspective so these are the things regarding paper 2 okay and uh, similarly i'll just uh, say what are the challenges of this options when you take this option one important challenge is as most of you from science background and this option is a humanity based option where answer writing is very different what is answer writing is very different in the senses right now if you take any questions what the first thing we always try to do is i'll give a question so analyze the reasons for farmers two sides in india what are the first thing you always try to explore this when you take this question analyze the reasons for farmers two sides in india means as we are mostly from science background and all these things what we try to do is first we want to define what is farmer two side correct that's a mindset we write the definition for farmer two side correct then we try to put some diagrams that's a mindset where here answer writing is very different it takes it takes some time to get a hold of it and we plan a class in such a way that after a few weeks of the classes we'll have a class test for all those things it takes some time to break it okay. and second challenge of this option is another most important thing is writing skill writing skill in the sense is you need to write coherently what is coherently means if you take any movies why we like that movies is the flow of the movies linked in each aspect correct right? so that is the reason we love that movie similarly here you also need to have this coherent writing space okay now another thing is mostly they say about this options biggest challenge is thinkers thinkers is nothing but the ideas of various uh, people who contribute for the subject we have a class in such a way that we classify the thinkers into three categories we put them into a different domain and we'll compare to understand very well and also we put a tabular column for it that is what we are planning another thing is it's a dynamic subject what is dynamic subject means is understand ups is dynamic not only option ups is dynamic what is dynamic means what is dynamic is constant updation and mostly what is happening around us in that one year of preparation that is converted as questions why this examination is considered to be very tough is if you take any previous questions try to find an answer for that question how we studied our universities how we studied in universities and all right now tomorrow is a test day correct right? we start a preparation by evening this time how we are able to clear our universities take last 5 years of previous question find the answer for the question and questions will repeat will write the answers and we get a uh, uh, university topper gold medalist all this happens can i understand the point but why upsc is the toughest examination is it's always linked with the current events why it's linked with current events is they want to evaluate you whether you understand the problems and give us solutions and this option is related with current affairs also we will have a classes current affairs sessions linked with this options these are the challenges okay 
But what are the major advantages is one is limited syllabus compared to other options. Okay, we have 26 units and mostly paper two is linked with GS papers. That is one. Another thing is not only in UPSC examinations, especially in mains helps you a lot. When you go for interview stages, where, what are the primary objective of interview? You call it as interview, but what are the reality of UPSC last stages? Personality test. What personality are they testing you there? What aspect they're testing is your personality is not only ethics, apart from ethics, ethics varies. Please understand if you go for interview of corporate world, what is ethics is to make money. But if you are in civil services, what the ethics is to serve the people. So what personality they're going to test in your in last stages, whether you have this officer quality, what is officer quality means, whether you have the mindset of an officer, that is what being tested in the last stages. When you have public administration option, naturally you have that orientation. You can easily understand the question. What a reason for the question is. They say situational questions. What a situational question means? They give a situation and they ask you to assume you are a civil servant. How you respond? Take an example. Right now, what the biggest incident happening here? Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu for last one week. What are the biggest incident is? Right now, if you are running the government, that is the biggest headache for you. Think that why it happened right now. So we have in Kallakurichi, correct? What that happened is where we can see that people consuming some spurious liquors and around 50 people died. Right now, if you go for interview, what is the question they'll ask us? Right now, you're an SP of the district. What do you do? Can anyone have an idea? What do you do if you're an SP of the district to control like situations like this? What are things need to be done? As? Any idea? Just give you a point. If you're an SP of a district, what do you do? Right now, you think as a common man, it's not your trouble, right? So can you say, if you are a, uh, if you are a SP of a district, how to control this type of situations is? So that is what? Ensuring law and order, how you do it? How you do it? History, first you need to go and check the historical data, where this being mostly happening. Then, and strengthening your intelligence. And what are the next important thing is? There's a person being arrested. Some funny name is there. Was that? Right now in Kalakurchi, there's one person is being arrested. Keep in. He is the person who made all these things and uh, sell it, correct? What is that? Kannikutti, correct? <laughs> so if you are an SP, you know this personality name, correct? What do you say to your subordinate is? We first the Kannikutti Thugungada, right? <laughs> he is the biggest troublemaker in my district. Okay, get him back. All these are through intelligence and effective actions. Then what you do is, you educate the people. What is educating the people is, having a spurious liquor can result in death, correct? When you have this option, you have basic understanding why this question is being asked. As a civil servant, how I, how I want to respond for it. Can you get the point? And another advantage is, after cracking and getting into the list, can anyone have an idea when your training starts? Any idea when your training starts is? Training starts in the month of August. Until December, they call it as foundation course. In that foundation course also you're going to study public administration. And another thing they say, in future, if they want to remove the options, right now for mains, we have one option, correct? Previously, we have two options. And if they want to remove this one option also, they make compulsory paper in GS. That will be a public administration. These are the advantages here of these options. But the point is, when you choose your options, go with your intuitive feeling. I'm saying all the positive things. You can understand the point. You make your own analysis and think of your options. You can understand the point. So online candidates, here, any clarifications or doubts, anything you want to get clarified, you can ask anything. Let's try Zama. And our class starts by uh, July 7th. Right? So that is the date being uh, set for our op optional classes. Yeah. It's a weekend class this Saturday, Sunday, 9 to 1. Okay. Any, any doubts or clarifications? You, ask, you can ask me. Anything you can ask. Most of the humanities based options, advantages, it's overlap with the syllabus of GS.
the it not only helps in way forward it have a holistic understanding of the system all the options are overlapping here is in paper to majority syllabus are overlap but the point is overlapping should not be the only criteria the way you write the answer also differentiates that that you keep in mind okay for example i said G uh, paper 2 of public administration overlap with gs topics i already said that you can write a gs answer for that and also public administration answer that you need to differentiate when you link with paper 1 of public administration it becomes a public administration answer that habit we want to build it. for that we have a test and all then any other clarifications or doubts the sources i'll refer in the first classes and it's a weekend batch saturday sunday 9 to 1 so how much time to take the complete the paper uh, we'll have a classes for 3 to 4 months and if you're following the 3 to 4 months of classes extra one month or one and a half months is enough because the limited syllabus yeah any other clarifications or doubts here anything you want to ask you can ask anything if you if you have any clarifications yeah please understand we cannot predict upsc no one knows what upsc does but there are rumors like that for last 3 to 4 years they are saying like that we can't predict it it's a probability we doesn't know but what is the current system you prepare for it one advantage is the option is when they remove it it becomes a compulsory paper that's the only advantage okay any other thing apart from this so what is the point is when you take options what the idea called creativity means for us as a common man what is creativity means upsc creativity is very different what is creativity as a common man is what new ideas okay when you take exam paper if university when you say creativity means what we do is put diagrams colors that's a creativity right for upsc creativity is not about colors what is creativity is when you have information how you analyze the information is creativity is analyzing the information is uh, i'll give an example of this uh, second order thinking what is second order thinking means if you are going through some information on plain seeing it says something but background if you go and check and analyze it have a different meaning what this creative or uh, second order thinking is i think most of you watch this movie called kung fu panda correct Kung Fu Panda. Are you able to remember? Can you say who, uh, which animal is the hero in that? Which animal is the hero in it? Every, everyone knows what which animal is panda, correct? How many uh, parts are there? Kung Fu Panda. Four parts is there. Can anyone say what are the animals are considered to be the enemy of panda? Can you able to remember what are the animals considered to be enemy of the panda? this will be a separate uh, classes only answer writing practice will be given yeah anyone knows what are the animals considered to be the enemy of panda anything that strikes them in part 1 part 2 anything snow leopard peacock correct crocodile so it start with part 1 and part 2 snow leopard and uh, peacock correct how it is related to india what is peacock to india national animal snow leopard think as a tiger what is that national animal panda is for which country china the chinese kid watching this movie what will be the impression is panda is good tiger is bad when he became 25 or 30 what will be his impression is china is good india is bad and is on the point that is the analysis part giving color pencils or color or is not required even movies have an objective please understand that if you take all hollywood movies you go and see that movies they have a underlying objective good example is james bond movies you got time check the james bond movies who are the villains in that movies is russians chinese all these people correct who are not good for us so once you start your upsc preparation you have a clear understanding 
even good example of this is right now in the last 10 years how indian movies are transformed is can you see a lot of war movies in india last 10 years lot of war movies uri correct uri is a surgical strike lot of war movies spy movies right so there's an objective for it okay so any, any clarification am i willing number batch option how can i improve for my suggestions when you think of your you mean psychological warfare it's not psychological warfare point is when we take options as a preparation my personal suggestion is when you start your gs preparation in month of june start your optional preparation by june itself and finish off by november after that you can focus on your c sat when you have personal reasons think of the batch but if you think i have an option to join june or november my suggestion will be always june batch because you can finish off your options right now then you can focus on csat for next four or five months which is very close to your prelims the role of csat of prelims is zero you understand the point don't start your csat right now and go for options that time you'll not have a hold of your csat any other options okay so scoring last year we have candidates who got 280 so uh, prithvi rajkumar a candidate who got to it got into ias possibilities are there every option you can score it's all depends upon how you understand the concept how you present your answer and please understand upsc examination is not a place for knowledge not a place for knowledge means what i'm saying is not i'm not saying you should not study it's not a place of seeking knowledge as a first priority knowledge need to be used for your services mains is primarily focused on answer writing can okay, understand the point how you present the answer and make the work of the examiner easy for that only you get the extra marks correct can you get the point so that what's practice all we have test series and everything for it okay and it's all depends upon you how you understand the concepts and write the answers online candidates any clarifications or doubts any clarifications or doubts here anything you want to ask offline candidates any specific questions you want to ask kamula gekarnal take if you have any questions to be asked anything you want to be clarified the point is as a candidates most of the time what is the biggest confusion of us is not only about this option every option you have that problem the reason is how we studied in school and college days is very different here because in school school and college days how you prepared the answers staff will go for the last page read the question go for a page number paragraph 1 put a box paragraph 2 put a box you read between these two paragraph and write that answer that is the answer correct but here whatever you study you want to understand and apply your mind so that only we have a lot of test series and all it takes some time okay and for upsc for any questions what you write as an answer there are multiple answers for it can you understand what i'm saying this in universities and all there is only one answer for the question because they put the boxes there whereas in upsc for the same question in candidates are writing the answers the range of marks will be very different based on the answers which is very close to the question you understand the point no one in upsc can write a perfect answer simple question simply of understanding is can anyone say what are the best percentage of marks to get into services any idea in universities you will be 90 91 92 percentage 85 percentage correct can anyone say what are the last years all india rank one percentage of mark any idea 50 to 55 percentage if you get the marks you are the toppers what we can understand from this anyone writing the answers 50 percentage of the answer is correct even for all india rank no one will write a perfect answer in upsc which cannot be done if you are trying to achieve that you get the service by the age of 60 no one can do it can understand the point 
because ups is a comparative scale what is comparative scale means out of 1000 people how is your answer best that uniqueness comes based on how you relate with your current affairs that is the uniqueness to make your answer unique it also applies for gs there are some standard points you can write but how you relate the standard points with facts and current examples makes your answers unique please understand for uh, for you for you psc preparation i always want to say the point here what we say in institute is 60 to 70 percentage another 30 percentage you are afford need to be there not like colleges or universities you sit there note down what are the things being done and if you go and write your examinations of upsc you will be in the list but where you are in the list is rank number 600 or 700 You want to get into top rank. Your effort also need to be there. What is that? Your effort is how you create your uniqueness. And please understand what are mark difference between rank number one and rank number six hundred is any idea? It's like Olympics hundred meters event. If you take Olympics hundred meters, we know the winner. You go and check the loser. What the time difference between winner and loser is? only few seconds this also applies for upsc all india rank 1 and 600 rank you go and check the mark difference comparatively 20 or 30 marks max within that everything finish to get the 20 or 30 marks you want to put your own effort in can you get the point i'm not discouraging you that's the reality of the system because it's a competitive examination everyone get the same information everyone get the same inputs how you apply the inputs it's all depends upon the candidate that effort you want to put can i understand the point neither clarifications or doubts online candidate candidates so regarding the option of public administration sociology please understand public administration is focusing on administration by the government sociology is about studying the society there are two different areas Can you understand the? Any other clarifications, online candidates? Here, you have any doubts here, offline candidates? So, can we wind off? Any doubts? Okay then. Okay, thank you. Classes starts by seventh. I think it's Sunday. After that, every Saturday, Sunday we have classes nine to one. Okay, thank you. So, online candidates, any clarifications or doubts? can we wind off if you put yes we can wind off what makes public administration advantages over sociology every option has its own advantages it all depends upon the candidates and if you take the options i have given some advantages of, of public administration similarly sociology has its own advantage you want to think of any other doubts or clarifications so public administration and political science what are the differences if mr modi speaks as a prime minister that is public administration if he speaks as a bjp person that's a political science okay i think you are able to understand very basic way right any doubts or clarifications apart from this online candidates can we wind off if you put yes for medical background my suggestion is uh, you can think of anthropology as an option that may be the best one because that be greater overlapping with your background and if you have any reservation think of other options 
that will be the advisable one. Computer science you can think of. Scoring of this option depends upon understanding of the concepts. Engineering background, you can take these options, no issues. Public administration deals with the government. Anthropology, there'll be extra, there'll be a demo sessions for it. Better you can attend that. I'm not aware of it. Regarding services, there is no role of options here. Any services you can take, any uh, any options you can result in any services. Assume that I am studying Tamil literature, I can get into foreign services. There is no link in that aspect. Options and services, there is no correlation. Yes, yeah. Hi. Or any show. Farmers background, you think of public administration. Okay, a UG and BSC agree. Should I start? She said optionals. If you are going for your UG right now, uh, go for CSAT. That is advisable one. Any other doubts for online candidates? If I didn't say, just put the questions again. I'll say the answers. There's a lot of people are putting questions. Sometimes I miss some of your questions. Just post it again. Online candidates. Five minutes. Any doubts or clarifications? For our UPSC preparation, basic grammar is enough. It's not that you want to be an expert in English. So biotechnology, think of your anthropology as an option. This is not tough. You need to prepare. You need to prepare so that will not be a tough one. Any doubts or clarifications? Yeah. What is the deals with this? It deals with government. And also we have seen all the units here, 12 units of paper one and paper two. It's all related with personal administration, comparative studies, administrative behavior. That's what we are going to study. It's not that you need to have to be an expert on current affairs. We'll see the current affairs sessions in the class also. Yeah. Management is more about, uh, more focused on uh, uh, organization systems or not. Public administration is overall aspect of that. In public administration, management is one such area. So regarding the options of public administration, you can get 280. Yes, become we can go for uh, public administration. Mathematics, think of max as an option or else you uh, choose other options. So that will be answer writing sessions and I also evaluate the paper and get it back to you. Writing your own answer relating with the question is advisable. Can I write our own answer? It's also theory and paper two is more related with applied areas. Source of public administration to have basic idea, you can study NCRT 12th business studies. So reading book is you can study this 12th NCRT business studies. Mechanical engineering can take public administration. Yes, any or any thing you can any or uh, any background can take it. There'll be no options. If they remove the option, there'll be no options. Yeah. Chemistry, you can choose public administration also, no issues in it. Okay then, so own answers relating with the question is required. Yes, there will be a class on mains answer writing and all. That we will do it. 
can i get more clarity on public finance especially what will be dealing public finance is more about budget making it's more about uh, 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 auditing all this comes under public finance okay then so uh, no there will be no problem solving like max and all there will not be anything like that so i'll be in second floor any doubts or clarifications you come and meet me i'll be in second floor okay if you're coming for gs classes okay then so thank you we'll meet later public finance is different from economics economics is a general term public finance is more about budget and all these things public finance is part of economics that's it economics have multiple dimensions okay okay then thank you i'll in second floor if you are a online candidate uh, you can go for arunkumar.d at shankarayes. This is my mail ID for online candidates. Yeah. Any doubts or clarifications? So, any doubts? You can put this in my mail. Okay then. Thank you. Thank you.